We're at the gorgeous Newlands for the Cape Town Blitz taking on the Twani Spartans. The Blitz have had a little bit of a wobble, whereas the Twani Spartans have found some wonderful form in their last few matches. We're getting towards the back end of the tournament and every game now is crucial for these teams. In particular, the Cape Town Blitz, they've got just three games to go. They need to win those three to be in contention for the qualifiers or the final. The Twani Spartans, though, they're in very good form. They've got an excellent net run rate as well. And despite having some uh, rained out games, they're in good form at the moment. We have had uh, the toss already and uh, we had uh, the Cape Town Blitz winning the toss and choosing to bat first. They feel they'd rather get first use of the wicket, put some runs on the board and see if they're able to defend it. Cape Town Blitz have made the one change as well. Asif Ali is out and Einrich Nokia is back in action. We saw him firstly last year in MSL in Cape Town and he was absolutely phenomenal, did have an injury, but it's good to see him back. In all, they have a very strong batting lineup, but we're gonna need to see a lot from them to get off to a good start today. The 20 Spartans, well, they've been in wonderful form and they have a very strong batting lineup. Bowling as well, they've got a lot of experience in the likes of Mornay Morkel, who's been firing. Rilla Fanamabe has been fantastic with the ball as well. He's just come off a Player of the Match award and they have a very, very strong bowling lineup and they'll be looking to restrict the Cape Town Blitz for probably around 140, 150. I think they'd be pretty happy chasing that. Crowd getting behind the countdown and we are ready to go. Showing an early hand in the sense that we're going to be starting off with uh, some spin early on. You know, of the qualifiers in Abu Dhabi. Um. Down the leg side, not the best of starts. Did that possibly come off a pad? We'll watch the umpire and he's uh, calling it as runs. So. What? Driving hard, lovely timing. This outfield is beautiful and it's timed excellently off the bat. Tossed it up, cries of catch it. And in the end, he's parried it away. It was a little chance for the Spartans here early on and it's gonna be another boundary. Edged and caught. Short third in the inner ring and the catch goes straight to him and Mornay Morkel with another wicket. And an important wicket for the Spartans, the loss of Quinton Ducott. Actually, a lot of width on, on the ball. Didn't really get out of it. Straight there to Lungi and Giddy. First wicket falls. They are 20 for one. Quinton Ducott goes for 16. Oh, it's a little edge. And a bit of luck for the batter. Cape Town Blitz might need that. Who knows? Maybe it'll get them going. Cries of catch it again. But this time around, going through that area, he times it well. Chipping it in the air, he's come a long way down. This is going far enough to evade the field and in fact eventually go for six. It looked like it had gone so far up in the end, wasn't going to travel, but eventually it goes the distance. Beautiful. What a way to follow up the six. He moves on past 14, which makes him the leading run scorer in the MSL currently. What a pickup. That's a wonderful stroke and it turns it into a fantastic over for the home side. Five overs gone, 49 for one. Smashed down the ground for four. Yeah, it's a beautiful pick up off the legs there, flicked away and sailed into the tenth uh, seating of the, of the stand there, but a beautiful shot. Excellent use of the feet, but that's high in the air. There's a fielder after it. This will be a good catch if he holds on. He doesn't. It goes to the boundary. Well, that was a great shot. The ball actually went very high. Got it on the uh, toe end of the bat. Didn't really time it, but uh, Mauda there on the boundary did his best. He got to the ball, but unfortunately uh, couldn't uh, take the catch. Oh, he's just helped there, didn't he? Two straight. That will find the boundary for four. Down the leg side, there's a big appeal from behind and from the bowler. The umpire's unmoved. Backs away, cries of catch it, and this time he does. So Rulof van der comes back into the attack and breaks a dangerous partnership. 
the Blitz felt that they needed to take rule of one, and, and that's where the wicket came from. Good catch. It was a well struck, but he held on quite nicely. And Van der Merwe was absolutely delighted. Not so much the Blitz Brigade. So the Cape Town Blitz have uh, lost Yanaman Milan for 36. It's 85 for two. It's obviously a little softer on the surface than we thought. Yeah. Well, that's pretty short. It deserves to be hit, and it's hit just far enough. And the shackles are broken. Finally a boundary and a big one. I think that's, you know, that's the, the wrong side of being a, bow, uh, being a spin bowler. If you get it wrong with a few inches, you travel the distance. So, one, unfortunately, one bad ball from Rulof. Let's see how he bounces back. Chopped it on. He's gone for the big swing. And in the end, the ball's onto his stumps. And it's much slower ball from Ngiri. Just felt like something was going to give there with Liam Livingston. Not a great strike rate. Only got eight of 12 balls. Bold Ngiri. Kept on Bledsoe, 112 for three after 14.1 overs. Oh, this Bowl is... him! Vian Mulder is rewarded for some excellent bowling here at Newlands and he's got the wicket of betting him. Straight ball, yeah. straight ball completely missed. Vian Mulder just finding that line and lane throughout his whole, throughout his whole spell. Um, great wicket here. Betting him gone for 53, it's 122 for four. Will at least get closer to that 155, 160. Right now, it just looks a far distance away. Ooh. Smashed away. And there's a fielder underneath it. Excellent catch. Can't keep him out the action, Vian Mulder. And Ngidi strikes. Delight for Ngidi and disappointment for Mohamed Nawaz, who perishes for seven. It's 136 for five. Oh, that's it high up in the air there's a fielder underneath it he's uh, steadying himself it goes right over him one bounce for welcome boundary for the blitz and Gidi's wondering how did that evade the field at tienis de brain straight down the ground and that's six runs 150 up in style for the cape town blitz trying to innovate, but just a single off the final delivery of the settings for the Cape Town Blitz. They end on 157 for five after 20 overs. Belanda not out on 21 of 17. Wahab Riaz, 10 of five. Excellent from the Spartans. David Beddingham with a big smile on his face. He's did well today, 53 of 40, but will it be enough? Cape Town Blitz, 157 for five after winning the toss and electing to bat first. Yeah, good figures there. Um, but Rolfi van der Merwe, 1 for 35, 8.75. Vian Molder, star of the show, three overs, one for 17. So that's the target for the Chwane, uh, Chwane Spartans as they look for their third win in a row. 158 is the target. We'll be back with you shortly. Just about ready to get going. Crowd will be behind the fielding side for sure. Yeah. Bald him after an indifferent start to the over. Wahab Riaz smashes the stumps all over the place. We want to have a look at this no ball. Has he overstepped? He's been struggling. That's fine. He's got something behind the line. That's a legal delivery. After a really tough start to the over, Wabrias manages to pick up a wicket. It's been a good start for the Blitz with the ball. Tennis to Brain goes for five, 12 for one. Edged and 
Stone caught, fending at the ball that was a bit wide of his body, and Dale Stone picks up another. He has 13 in the MSL. And the weight not transferring to the shot. Hit way behind where the contact point was. Yeah, I think a very good move here from the cock bringing, bringing Stain uh, into his second over. Bjorn Mulder departs for two of only three deliveries. Never really got the chance to get going. 15, it's 15 for two after three for one overs. Cries of catch it and he chips it straight to Madoff. Dean Algar just didn't look at ease at the crease. And Dale Stain has another. Once again, completely out Fox for that sliver wall. Once again, Dean Elgar never looked settled at the crease. And a simple catch taken by Vernon Flander. That's a big wicket he's been in good form. Elgar goes for five, 16 for three. That's a bit of pace and a little bit too much bounce in the end for Quinton de Kock and it flies away towards the boundary for Byes. Just maybe getting too much bounce on that occasion. Quinton couldn't get there. Oh, A.B. de Villiers. What a shot from a man who is in superb form. I think Wahab missed the trick here. He should have tasted the helmet. Kane just missed it. And AB put it in the stands. Keeping the batters guessing, and that's exactly what they've done. Yeah, he's, uh, he certainly knows Norky there uh, using this pace. Um, and then Dale coming in slightly less pace to work with, but look at that difference in kilometers per hour there, 147, 119, so he's definitely mixing it up. Well, he said that previously he was always looking to go at under seven and a half and over, but as a strike bowler, he wasn't taking as many wickets. So he's mixed it up a lot more this year, and he's picked up a lot more wickets. I think what's normally so frustrating, the bowler running in, bowling their best delivery, and the fielders not backing it up. But at the moment, the blitz are doing the opposite. They're fielding on point. Great to have your company wherever you're watching us from around the world, the UK, the UAE, Pakistan, and of course, live on SABC here in South Africa. Innovation and success. First boundary for the Spartans. Yeah, as we just look at that shot again. Really getting his weight into that shot. Let's try something different. There, he goes again. And he's out. Livingston, he's delighted. And this bowling move, an inspired one from Quinton de Kock, has bought the fourth wicket. So the captain, Heinrich Klaassen, goes for 13, 48 for four. Driving straight. Down the ground. That's a, a much better shot from Pite van Billion. He's in good form at the moment, Pite van Billion. He's a, a really big player for the Spartans. I'm 0 for 2 today. <laughs> nicely played. Very nicely played. That is excellent. Yeah, you yeah, can't miss your mark here. Yeah. Straight down the ground again by A.B. de Villiers, this time into the crowd. And that turns it into a massive over. 16 runs from it, 82 for four. Two big overs, 12 runs, then 16. A.B. bringing the Spartans back into this game. Wonderful by A.B. de Villiers, not so wonderful by the crowd in the end. Drop chance. <laughs> Top edge, this is crucial. Dale Stan calls for it. Out! This could change the result, and Dale Stain deserves that wicket, and he wins the battle. The great celebrations there from Dale Stain. Well, what a key wicket, the last ball of his spell. To the top of the leading wicket takers in all time MSL cricket, and it's with a big one. AB de Villiers goes for 31 90 for five.
early call to go to two or trouble. I think in the end, there might have been a little bit of miscommunication possibly between the two. Quinton de Kock doesn't look too happy. Quinton de Kock, not happy. He wears his heart on his sleeve, Quinton de Kock. Van Bouillon tees off and it's uh, into the crowd for six. Van Bouillon backs away and gets a boundary. 15 runs from the over so far. Bit of fortune there for Bouillon. Slicing it over the point region. A much needed boundary. Backs away and that races away to the boundary for four. Pressure back on the bowler. I think just missing his length there by a few centimeters. Bouillon knowing what he wants to do just backed away and sliced it through the point region for four. Straight down the ground. Oh, and it's parried over the rope. Oh, what a ball! Could that be the game? Wahab Riaz. The celebrations are on, but the umpires are having a look at the front foot. Looks like they're checking for the no ball. Is he behind the lines? Is something behind? Oh, it's no ball. No ball called. Excellent review from the umpires. Crowd getting involved. Oh, got him. He's not celebrating, but he's been given. He's going upstairs again, his umpire Palika, oh, no. with a wry smile on his face. Oh no, it can't be. Could it be another one? Oh, just something behind the lines there. His heart would have been in his chest at the moment, in his throat, sorry. Carter got... He's departing for 62 after 42 balls. The score is 137 for 6 after 19 overs. Karen tees off, and there's a fielder underneath it. He takes it, he's down, but he's got the wicket. And uh, this is exactly what the Cape Town Blitz needed in these last two overs. Partnership broken, and Livingston is all smiles. The Blitz have, would be able to get a win here today. Tom Curran gone for a duck, it's 138 for seven. Magala with the final delivery. And that's how it ends. The Cape Town Blitz are back to winning ways in MSL 2.0. And thanks largely to a fantastic bowling performance here, led by the wonderful Dale Stain. And uh, Quinton de Kopp will be all smiles now, winning by 15 runs to go to fourth in the standings. Yeah. So, Shwane Spartans ending on 142 for seven in their 20 overs. Uh, well played. Pied van Bouillon, 62 from 42, but it was the wicket for A.B. de Villiers uh, from Dale Stain that really turned things around. And then Klaassen trying something cute, and he was also out. So Cape Town Blitz doing fantastically well to defend a total here that you probably thought the Spartans had what it takes to um, chase it down, not to be today. As we look at the Cape Town Blitz bowlers today, Stain, top of the order here, three wickets, 10 runs in his four overs. And then the bowlers backing me up. Wahab Riaz only going for six runs and over. And Magala for 6.75. I think that's amazing stuff for the bowlers, especially not having a lot of runs on the board. But I think they did phenomenally well. An interesting stat that the Chinese Spartans have never beaten the Blitz yet. Twice last year, um, they lost to the Blitz and again today. The home side winning by 15 runs and they go up to 17 points on the points table.